Hey, I'm Claudia Colts, and this is my rabbit altar project. The idea came from my love of Victorian and Gothic things, and my slight obsession of rabbits, which, unlike cats and dogs, it's really hard to find anything rabbit themed, especially in the gothic style. So I decided to make it myself. This project actually started in Dynamic Media 2, before I had access to Laser Cutter. In that class, I conceptualized it, drew up a basic vector file, and even made a simple mini paper model. In Dynamic Media 3, I stepped it up. First off, I had to learn how to use laser cut. To get comfortable with it, I made a test before my rabbit altar tests. I used these to think about the roof design, how different card stocks acted, and the vector and raster settings. Once confident and ready to test my rabbit altar illustrator file, I printed my first mini test rabbit altar. And then another, and another, and quite a few. In between each test print, I would tweak the original file until I felt the minis were as good as they were gonna get. It's then time to start with the wood. However, there was a bit of an initial delay while I tried to find one. Luckily, Keith came to the rescue and found the perfect wood in the right size. Thank you. My first test print on the wood was an almost a scale front piece with the decorative elements. The goal here was to get the laser cutter to cut out the raster deep enough that I would stand out. When I was happy, I scaled the Illustrator file so that I now print at full size. And thus, my first full scale test rabbit altar was born. This test gave me the chance to tweak any glaring issues that weren't apparent with the minis. This included changing the size of the insert shelves, changing the drawers, the trim, and mirroring the right window. Then, the two final prints were printed, taken home, stained, spray painted, assembled with a roof, finally dry brushed, and ta-da, rabbit altars. The rabbit altar isn't entirely perfect. The trim doesn't always meet. The roof has gaps, and the drawers aren't easy to use. But all in all, I'm very happy I made this. But I do wish I had started earlier on this project. Partly because then I wouldn't have been so rushed, and also because I had a lot of fun with the laser cutter. And the more I worked with it, the more ideas I had. Like. A clear acrylic version would have been so cool. This project also kind of proved what I had the suspicions of. A market for this kind of rabbit art. Any rabbit lover I met when I had one of the test prints said they pay money for the rabbit altar, or even a pack of the rabbit doilies that were kind of a side thing. Obviously, the rabbit altar needs to be refined. But the idea is there. And I think it's worth pursuing.